Hi there. In this topic, we will learn about the technological progress, innovation and invention. Because these three things are connected with each other. Let us get started. It's about the technological progress primarily, which is actually the expansion of the existing knowledge. When new knowledge is created, it expands and it gives rise to technological progress. It's also about that how the various technological advances are applied to the production of various goods and services because the new knowledge can be converted into uh, better technology which can give rise to better goods and better services not just in terms of quantity but also in terms of quality and also in the way that they are provided. It is a systematic process yes because knowledge creation and its implementation cannot be a random process. Moreover, it is endogenous to the economic system because any economic system, if it is vibrant enough, it is going to give rise to new knowledge and hence technological progress. So endogenously, this process should continue in every economic system. And it has an incremental nature that goes on in the long run and spreads in the overall economy. Because the inventions and technological progress that take place on an incremental basis, a small increment is done, a small technological advancement is made, and then uh, an, an increment takes place. And in this way, these small increments give rise to a long run technological progress. Then we come to invention. It is basically a form of technological progress. When technological progress takes place, something new is invented. And this can happen in either of these ways. That is, we can have a new product in the form of invention. And invention can also give rise to a better way of providing goods and services. For example, if the efficiency increases, that is due to some new way of production, then definitely output will increase or quality of the output will increase or cost will decrease or some mixture of these three desirable outcomes will happen. So all of these situations are showing that there is an increase in efficiency and invention is in a favorable direction. A concept very much closely connected to innovation or invention is innovation because it is actually the application of the inventions or the new discoveries. That is, it is their first commercial use. So the commercialization of the inventions is going to give us innovation. It is basically a long run concept because in any economic system this is one of the major drivers and if this continues, that is the innovation, then definitely the economic system is a vibrant economic system. And for successful innovation, we have two requirements from the economic system and that is that there is supportive and sustained demand for new goods and services. This is the demand side and definitely on the supply side there should be something desirable and that is the reduced cost and that should happen that we have capacity to reduce cost and also the producer is willing to do so because the reduction in the cost cannot just happen without any effort that will require the invention that will require research and development and then we will have the innovation so these two prerequisites are required in order to have innovation in the economy innovation is actually a superior hand for the firms in competition because it is a kind of uh, touchstone for the success of anything new that is make it or break it factor in the market and then we have uh, the competition which is not just in terms of quality and quality, quantity but it is also in terms of the speed of the innovation so quantity can increase quality can improve but also the speed of innovation is critical in the market when it comes to the competition among the firms. The more a firm innovates, the more it is likely to survive, not only survive but also thrive in the market. So this innovation disseminates in a certain way, there is a stylized fact and that is that there are three stages usually and they give rise to a forward S-shaped curve. We will see this in the diagram but first let us just see few stages of it. It has usually three stages. The first stage is the stage in which the initial adaptation happens because the invention has taken place and it is being converted into some sort of innovation. And due to a lot of unused capacity and uh, quite a bit of uh, potential for absorption, there is an increasing growth rate of this innovation. 
Secondly, there comes a stage where the potential of absorption reduces because quite a bit of it is uh, absorbed in the economy. So the growth rate decreases. And finally, it reaches a stage where there is settlement because the curve is becoming flatter and the interest is emerging in newer innovations. So that is the dying off stage of the innovation. Now, we know that there are various firms and there are various industries and economies. So due to a lot of variety, we can expect various S-shaped curves in the analysis. So let us see one of the diagrams that is going to guide us about how this pattern can occur. This is a simple diagram in which we have the percentage of adopting firms on y-axis and this is the average time of adoption when the seize happens. This is at certain point and on the whole the y the x-axis has time variable. So this is the beginning of our analysis. There are three firms that we are assuming from A, from B and from C. For from A the curve is like this. It starts from region, passes through D and then passes through G and becomes flat and reaches this level that is shows that it is of firm A. For firm B, again the curve starts around uh, the region and passes through E and then from H and becomes flatter afterwards. For firm C, it starts again around the region and passes through F and then I and becomes flat. So these are the three curves and you can see already that they have distinct shapes. All of them are following a forward uh, S-shaped pattern. However, they are not the same because they are belonging to different firms. These are various um, areas that are highlighted. For instance, for firm A, the stage 1 is till point D because you can see it is having an increasing uh, growth rate. And from here till this point, we have A2, that is firm A is having second stage in which there is decreasing pattern of the growth. And it stops here and afterwards it becomes flatter. And you can see it is the third stage for firm A and it starts from this point and ends at this point as you can see here. In the same way you can see the first stage for firm B, second stage for firm B and the third stage. Then we have the first stage for C firm and then second stage and the third stage. You can pause the video and see the demarcation and guess that how it is going through various stages. Another thing to understand in this uh, whole diagram is this point K. This point K is actually showing the average time to seize adoption. Because uh, for firm A, this is the stage or point where the uh, adoption is seizing. And for firm B, this is the point where the adoption is seizing. And for firm C, this is the point where the adoption is seizing. So if you take the average of the three, it is going to be somewhere here. So this is that point which is showing the average time to seize the adoption. Because afterwards there will be interest in some other new invention or innovation and we will have another curve for all of these firms. So these are the three uh, firms that we talked about ABC. This was the first stage for firm A, for firm B, for firm C. This was the second stage from point D to G and that was for firm A. For firm B, it was from point E to H, and for firm C, it was from point F to I. This was showing the decreasing returns, it was showing the increasing returns, and that was uh, the point where the spread was ceasing, and some new or better innovation was arising. For firm A, B, and C, the points were G, H, and I, respectively. And the length of this segment, that is O, K, shows us the average time to seize adoption. So you can pause the video and read these uh, details. So this was about the connection between the technological progress, innovation and invention. I hope you have benefited from this video. Thanks for watching. You may like it. Thank you.